he just put his arm around your boyfriend and said, up here we don't carry any animosity. We're all together up here. We're all together up here. That's something that we have on this earth, not up here, he says. also dark skin. Would that mean anything to you? Is there another dark skin friend? And I feel like he's got a sports jersey on him. I don't know what the number is on the sports jersey. I can't really remember. I feel like it's, he would have had something that was, I don't know if he played, but he kind of like had it on, whether it was hockey or football. So I feel like it was a hockey jersey. Or something. Familiar to you, Nicole? Um, until the M. Yeah. Sometimes it comes in like, you know what I mean? If there's an M in the name, but it doesn't start. Yeah, no, no, that's all right. But I mean, sometimes too, you get stuff that times doesn't, it doesn't quite. Like sometimes you get stuff that doesn't quite line up. Yeah. But then you get stuff that's part of something else that you can make sense of later. I keep seeing a car. Would this person have passed in a car? Yep. Was there speed? Mm-hmm. Because I'm seeing the car going, oh. Okay. I'm 
number of. What's that? That could be either of my grandfathers or uncle. I feel like it's a grandfather. I don't feel like it's an uncle. He just put his arm around your boyfriend and said, up here we don't carry any animosity. We're all together up here. We're all together up here. That's something that we have on this earth, not up here, he says. I feel like somebody, this man, the, the older, the older gentleman. Do, does any of them you remember ever play cards? Um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> that's the one that's here. Because he's showing me the cards on the table, and he's like, <sighs> "Does anybody that you know of?" And again, I just saw this, so I don't know if it's connected to anyone. I'm seeing a boat. Anybody like to have a boat, or like to go boating, or love the water? Or... I want my grandfather was in the navy. No, I'm not seeing that kind of boat. I'm seeing, I'm seeing like, like a casual boat so that you go out. Like on a lake. Want to go fishing, yeah. or something like that, or sailing, or something like that. I feel like it's that kind of boat. Um, Russell died. What's that? My uncle Russell had a boat actually. He had been I'm trying to guess his age now, like the 50s to 60s. Yes. Someone that ballpark. Dark hair? Yeah. Yeah. And now I'm seeing him on a boat. It also looks like I don't know what he would have done this, but I, I feel like he's just like, yeah, I love it here. And he's got his he's got his barbecue grill and he's got hamburgers and he's got he's just kind of like hanging out. Yeah, he was a on the boat. Guy. He was what? He was a Florida guy. He was so. a Florida guy. Like, <laughs> I feel like he's just kind of really back. And... Yeah. Okay. So, I'm feeling something up here with him. Um, yeah, he died of a brain tumor. Getting it right in the head. By the way, I'm just, I'm as amazed as you are, by the way, at all of this. I just want you to know that it comes to me, and I don't know how it comes to me, but it does. They just keep I am not amazed. Like, I knew no, I you know. would crush this. Nicole, I told you. I know, it caught me off guard. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I stay late at work. That is the most recent one, right? Yeah. Was he diagnosed pretty quickly? Like the end of last year? Or had he yeah. suffered for a while? No. Because he's telling me like it was fast. I know it was like November and then all of a sudden boom, bang, boom. Yeah, it was extremely fast. So, um, yeah, it was at the end of the year or early this year. He had surgery and he was doing better and then just went downhill like really fast. From the get-go they said that he didn't have a lot of them. So Scott's reading like really caught me off guard. I wasn't prepared for that first part of my boyfriend. Like that's something that not many people know about me. Like that's deep down in there from 15 years ago and I could really Feel it. Um, he's did a great job, and I would love to do it again. What did you think about um, how accurate it was um, in terms of how he passed, how he looked, and some of the other um, people that came through? It was incredibly accurate about the car and that there was speed involved because that's exactly what happened. Um, 
he was speeding, went around a curve, and was high. And that was it. So it, it really, yeah, that was incredibly accurate. And the part about my grandfather playing cards, we like grew up playing cards, what we did wow. every single day. Um, like every single day after school, we'd play cards. Awesome. Thank you, Nicole. Thank you. My pleasure. <laughs>